Good afternoon, everyone. This is Pastor Kenny Lee coming to you from an undisclosed location in Phillips County. Hope that you're having a great Saturday. It is a beautiful day outside. I want to share a passage of scripture that comes to us from the third chapter of Paul's letter to the church at Ephesus, beginning with verse 1. This is the reason that I, Paul, am a prisoner for Christ Jesus for the sake of you Gentiles. For surely you have already heard of the commission of God's grace that was given me for you, and how the mystery was made known to me by revelation as I wrote above in a few words, a reading of which you will understand will enable you to perceive my understanding of the, mystery, the mystery of Christ. In former generations, this mystery was not made known to humankind, as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit. That is, the Gentiles have become fellow heirs, members of the same body, and sharers in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. Of this gospel, I have become a servant according to the gift of God's grace that was given to me by the working of his power. Although I am the very least of all the saints, this grace was given to me to bring to the Gentiles the news of the boundless riches of Christ and to make everyone see what is the plan of mystery hidden for ages in God who created all things so that through the church the wisdom of God in its rich variety might be now made known to the rulers and authorities in the heavenly places this was in accordance with the eternal purpose that he has carried out in Christ Jesus our Lord in whom we have access to God in boldness and confidence through him in faith I pray therefore that you may not lose heart over my sufferings for you they are your glory this is the word of God for us today we've been talking a lot over the past several days about the mystery of, of Christ this mysterious union that the Trinity enjoys this this diversity unity and diversity and also the mysterious union that a believer has with Almighty God through the presence of the Holy Spirit by the grace afforded us through the sacrifice of Jesus Christ through a sheer gift of our Heavenly Father and Paul uses um, extremely soaring language in his expression to the church at Ephesus to try to help them understand this full revelation of God in Christ and how much God loves them and how important they are to him and how they should not lose heart because he happens to be um, in prison at this time that he is made a slave for Jesus Christ we often lose sight of the fact that Paul was a person who was not following God in the beginning he was following God to the best of his understanding but he was following far short of what God's best for him was and what God's purpose for him was and on the road to Damascus Paul has this experience where the risen Christ comes to him and speaks to him in an audible voice and he loses his sight for a time and he comes to a saving faith in Jesus Christ and receives baptism and begins his journey toward being the missionary the premier missionary to the Gentiles all over the Roman Empire Paul wrote much of the New Testament in his own hand and was was ultimately equipped through his theological education and his vast experience all over the Roman Empire I want to share with you a piece of music that comes to us it's a beautiful song called Relentless by Hillsong United. I do not own the rights to this song. I invite you to listen and enjoy.
invite you to pray with me. God, we are grateful people that your love relentlessly pursues us, incessantly wooing us into a love relationship with Almighty God. We thank you for the mysterious union that we know and enjoy through the power of your Holy Spirit in the person of Jesus Christ to the glory of God the Father. God, we ask today that you would show us what it means to follow you, that you would help us to reach out to those around us, that you would continue to lead us in the way that leads to life. In Jesus' name, amen. I hope you guys have a great afternoon, and I hope to see you in parking lot worship tomorrow at 11 o'clock or online tomorrow at 11 o'clock. We'll be doing Facebook Live early. Have a great afternoon.